Hello and welcome to another Manga Spotlight. Today's series, Sweat and Soap by Yamada Kintetsu. So you may be familiar with this series already. If you're not, the best way to describe it is a romantic comedy slice of life between two co-workers. So the basic premise. Asako is living her dream, working at the toiletry maker Lilia Drop. Little do her co-workers know, the reason she loves the company so much is that she's ashamed of her body odor. And their soap is the only thing that does the trick. So when the company's lead product developer, a perfuming genius, approaches her in the lobby and wonders what that smell is, she's terrified. But could it be that he likes it? And even more surprising to Yao, does she like him? So, uh, yeah. I will say that it does deal with smells and body odor kind of as a... I don't want to say as a fetish because this isn't like a erotica or anything like that there is the suggestive tag as you can see there there are like sex scenes and stuff like that but it's done in like a realistic way and not as a like anti-graphic sort of way uh this isn't really a fan servicey kind of series if anything it's actually really kind of light-hearted and sugary sweets but yeah the basic idea is that our main character is uh, Asako. There's actually two main characters. We have Asako and we have Kotaro. Asako works at the Lilia Drop company, which is a toiletry company. They make like soaps, shampoos, body sprays, that kind of stuff. She's an office worker and she loves working for this company because this company is the only company that's able, able to get rid of her body odor. Ever since she was a kid, she tends to sweat more than the usual kids. She was picked on in school because of that. And nothing really seemed to work except for Lilia Drops products. So she was happy to be able to work there. And uh, one day she's checking out the new items that they're going to be releasing soon. And that's when Kataro shows up. And Kataro just basically approaches her from behind and starts smelling her. And... Uh, of course she freaks out and he's like you know i'm not a creep he introduces himself says he's from the product development team and that her scent sends shivers down his spine and he basically makes a deal with her that every day i want to smell you i want to smell you for inspiration like he has to come up with an idea for like a new fragrance and he's just having a block but whenever he smells her like she's his muse so, uh, yeah, we just had this like really weird, kind of uncomfortable moments where um, she's just completely terrified and timid and embarrassed. And he's just kind of hovering over her and smelling her all the time and trying to get her scent. But over time, she starts becoming a little bit more relaxed about this because this is like the first time someone has ever said that they liked her smell. Because as I said before, she's always been picked on because of her smell. Now we have someone who actually likes her smell to the point that he wants to hang out with her every day and smell her to get inspiration. And that's basically how this relationship starts being formed. Uh, it starts with him just wanting to smell her, but then feelings start developing and uh, it starts turning into a romantic kind of situation. I will say the romance starts pretty quick, which is good in my opinion. Uh, I mean, I'm not one of those people that like I need the romance to start immediately. But one thing that I hate when it comes to romance series is when they drag it out for too long. Like you will have a romantic comedy manga series and it'll be like 90 chapters and then maybe they'll finally confess and they won't even kiss or anything. They'll just like hold hands or something. Here they have sex in the first chapter. <laughs> um, and it just kind of starts as like this awkward thing where she's like, you know, does he actually like me or did he? just want to smell me like we had sex what, what does that mean and it turns out that yes he does have feelings for her and things just kind of start developing from there and one of the things that i totally love about this series is that they communicate with each other which is something that bugs the hell out of me in other series like when something is bothering one of them they talk about it so you don't have a lot of like unnecessary drama where it's like oh things would just be fixed if they just Told each other what was bothering them no they, they basically just straight up tell each other for example i guess a slight spoiler uh there's a scene later on where this guy like starts hitting on her and she's not interested because she's dating kotaro and 
she is in love with Kotaro, so she's not interested in this new guy. And, um, of course, Kotaro shows up as this guy is hitting on her, and he doesn't like that. And right before the guy leaves, he gives Asako his business card. And she just kind of, like, takes it without realizing. Like, she just kind of, like, she wants him to go away, so she just kind of takes it and puts it in her pocket, and the guy leaves. And, of course, that bothers Kotaro, because he's like, why didn't you just straight up tell him, like, hey, I'm dating someone, I'm not interested. Why did you take his card? Why did you make it seem, like, why did you give the impression that he might have a chance like, that really bothered me. And, of course, that wasn't what she was trying to do. She was just really embarrassed. She just wanted him to leave. So she figured she just took his card. He would just leave, which he did. But she didn't know that, that doing that in front of Kotaro would make him feel the way that he feels. So I like the fact that he just straight up tells her, hey, that bothered me when he did that. And she's just straight up like, oh, my God, like I didn't realize that was happening. I apologize. And they immediately make up. And it's just one of those things where... If this was maybe another series, they would drag this out for like multiple chapters and then things would be okay. And then something else would pop up and it's just a bunch of unnecessary drama. And you don't get that here. You get realistic drama, but you also get realistic drama hashed out in a realistic manner. And so I like that. And I also like just the fact that uh, this series is just, it's very lighthearted and sugary sweet and will leave you with diabetes, basically. So... For anyone who's like looking for a good romance, this is definitely it. The characters are just very likable, both characters. Like I said, Kotaro kind of comes across kind of weird and kind of creepy, especially with his smell fetish. But uh, over time, you start realizing that he's actually like a pretty good dude. Very likable, someone that you would definitely want to chill out with. Asako uh, is the same, obviously. She is one of those that, um, like, she's never had a boyfriend. She's never been with anybody. So this is all new to her. She's very um, timid, quiet, embarrassed very easily. But then as we see her in this relationship with Kotaro, we see her slowly getting out of her shell and becoming a little bit more outgoing and stuff. And it's just like this nice character arc between the two of them as we see both of them bringing out the best in each other. I will say that the whole smell thing is really weird. I'm just one of those people, I've never been into the whole like sniffing and smell and body odor kind of fetish. It's just, it's really weird to me. And you do get that here, but it's not enough to ruin the uh, story or to completely put you off, I don't think. I mean, it didn't do it for me. It did make me a little bit weird, especially in the beginning, because in the beginning, he's very, like, constantly trying to smell her. And it's not like that ever really goes away. But it does get a little bit better, where he's not just, like, every other panel, he's sniffing her and stuff. Uh, but it, it, it is, like, a really weird thing that's, uh, that happens. I just don't really understand it, but whatever. I, I get that that's kind of, like, the whole gimmick is, is what brought them together, is the fact that... Um, she has a smell that he likes. What it really ends up being is that uh, when she's happy, she puts out like this weird pheromone that he can smell. And uh, it's because he has like a really good nose. And so we have this thing where he's constantly trying to make her happy so that he can get that smell. And so that gives us some pretty sweet chapters. I don't really know what else to say. I don't really want to like spoil things. I will just say that uh, this is a really good series. It is officially licensed. So I would recommend checking it out, buying it. Um, usually, like, I will leave a link to Manga Dex. I'm not going to leave a link to Manga Dex, though, because, like I said, this is officially licensed in, uh, in English. And so I will put a link to where you can buy it. And I do recommend buying it because I think the author should uh, get rewarded for putting out this amazing piece of work. I really do enjoy it. This is a fantastic series. It's actually one of those series where I was sad when it ended. And it didn't end because it got canceled or anything like that. It has a proper ending. I'm not going to spoil what that ending is. But it has its ending. It, the story tells the story it needs to tell. And um, the ending is, I mean, it's a good ending. I liked it. But it's just one of those where it's like, now we're not going to get any more of these characters. So it's kind of sad. Because it's like you went on this huge journey with these characters and then it ends, and it's like, that's it. And um, I will say that the ride was great. 
So definitely check it out. Uh, I'll leave a link to where you can buy it. If you want to see a little bit of it first, then I'm not going to leave a link to Mangadex, but you can find it on Mangadex. So go find it on Mangadex. Feel free to read like the first few chapters or whatever. See if it's your thing. But I do recommend actually purchasing it. it, it it's well worth it. It's an amazing series. So there you go. There's Sweat and Soap. I hope you enjoy. And if you got any recommendations for any manga series, let me know. And it can be for anything. Like, here we go. I, I just did a romantic comedy. I don't know if I've done a romantic comedy before. I've done series with romance. But I read everything when it comes to manga. Even things that you probably don't think I would read, I read. <laughs> Even things that I won't admit to reading, I read. So, yeah, feel free to uh, recommend me anything. But there you go. Hope you enjoyed. And hope to see you next time. Take care. Later. So what did you guys think of that video? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that bell for a notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far. And I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.